guys welcome back to a new video so today is going to be a get it all done with me we're going to be doing some outside transformation some more outdoor projects that needed to be taken care of here we're at my grandma's house is where we're starting off today we're going to do some hedge trimming she actually wants this bush here that is beside these steps completely ripped out so what i was doing was just trying to cut as much of it down as I could before my husband's gonna come and take care of the rest of it and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done but it looks so much better in my opinion when we get done um, you can actually see her flower bed that's hidden behind um, the, this big bush here once we get it ripped out and then I'm just gonna go through and trim the rest of them back she kind of wanted them to wear she, they, whenever she was walking down her pathway that they weren't touching her so they just needed trimmed back a little bit so that is what I'm working on doing and then I'm gonna rake everything up and what we did was we just loaded everything up onto the truck I didn't film that part but I probably should have I don't know why I didn't in today's video but we're also gonna take her patio chairs and table home with us and I'm gonna spray paint them at the end of this video for you guys I forgot to do a little overview of them but they turned out really really nice we spray painted them black um, her patio set was just kind of worn down and a little rusty and stuff so it just needed some spray paint and spray paint can go a long way so can a gallon of paint it can really transform anything at your house so even if you're on a tight budget and you can't like maybe afford to do an expensive project that you really want to do um, you can always rely on a gallon of paint to take care of some stuff for you and it can really make a huge difference in your home and it also doesn't uh, some paint can cost a lot I'm not gonna lie to you guys but sometimes you can get a pretty good deal on it um, just depends on where you go and like I said it can really transform your house really easily if you're on a budget so um, yeah if you're new here my name is Brandy I like to post cleaning and motivation get it all done with me here on this channel homemaking content um, just just uh, motivation videos so if that interests you would love to have you subscribe I also run a vlog channel where um, we do cleaning over there too and we also do like vlogs where I do day in the lives and I share a little bit more about my personal life I do cooking over there uh, mom mom stuff I'll share like some mom stuff you know every once in a while but yeah anyways if that interests you would love to have you check that out as well so we're just going to get right into the video, like I said, and get this stuff done.
what a difference it looks like now that we got that bush out of the way. My grandma was really happy and now that see now you can see that flower bed really nice and I think it looks a lot better. I wanted to show you guys my knockout rose real quick. We're gonna go inside and clean up the kitchen. We just got back. So we did some hedge trimming at my grandma's house and we got that done but there is some other things that my husband has to finish up doing there um but it's too wet this week it's rained so much here so everything is just wet but my rose bush is so pretty right now um so i've never cut off roses and put in a vase but i kind of wanted to try it but i don't know um if you can do that with the knockouts i don't know if people do that or not i mean i can might have to look it up because <laughs> I would love to have some of these sitting on my table or something right now because they look so pretty. Um, I don't really know if you can do that because they're just different from a regular rose. The stems ain't as long. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and clean up my messy kitchen. We need to put the dishes away. Uh, we're actually going to plant some more plants too. My grandma gave us some plants. So this video is going to be like a get it all done. Just some random things that need done around the house. But I hope that you guys are getting that outdoor motivation again. So I'm not 100% what these are called that she gave us. Because I can't remember now. But she told me they get real tall. She wasn't 100% if the deer is going to eat it or not. And I... Hmm. By looking at it, they might. So it might be better for us to plant them. Um, like next to something they won't eat like this lavender here like I, we could uh put something here and plant it because this bed can still hold a lot more flowers so i was really thinking about putting some more stuff up here and then down at the shed i'd prefer to look for stuff that don't require a lot of water <laughs> because it's hard we still water that stuff down there but there's always that drought in the middle of the summer and sometimes we don't get enough water to the flowers down there. So I'd rather look for stuff that can hold out and not requires as, as much water. So these bushes up here are doing fantastic. Boxwoods are coming back. I think the deer was eating on those. And then this is a lily. It's doing excellent. It, they get really pretty lily flowers on them. Um, if the deer can stay away long enough from this thing because they'll eat it. Um, these are Japanese something. They get little white flowers. They actually have buds on them. I don't know if you guys can see them in there. But this is a beautiful bush. I love these bushes so much. I don't even remember where, where we bought them at. I think we got them at Walmart. But they need a little trimming. They're a little out of whack. This one over here is overgrown a lot. So it needs trimmed. And it's also kind of blocking our water hose. So we'll have to do that one day as well but i have a video to edit for you guys so we're gonna go in and work on the kitchen and then i also have to clean this table for my grandma and then we're gonna spray paint it for her as well so we brought that back home with us today so we're gonna need to clean the back porch as well we're gonna take everything off pressure wash it get the back porch rolling need to touch up the paint spots that possibly could be in this video as well but Right now, we're going to take a break on the outdoor stuff, and we're going to go clean my kitchen up. So I'm taking my friend's um, daughter, her birthday gift this afternoon. So I thought that I would show you guys what I'm giving her real quick for her birthday, and then we're going to wrap up her present. I bought a bag for it and some tissue paper, and this is my kitchen. It's not that bad, guys. I just need to put stuff away. Like, there's dishes. The dishwasher needs unloaded. My grandma gave me some fresh, like, produce and stuff. Just stuff needs put away. I just don't like the way my counters, like, I just need to put stuff away. I did wipe them off last night, so they're not that bad. But I want to go ahead and get this stuff cleaned up. So, anyways, I wanted to show you guys what I got her. I wasn't able to show you guys in my vlog. If you want to check out my vlog channel, I'll have it linked down below. We do cleaning over there. We do cooking, uh, day in the lives, uh, homemaking, all kind of stuff over there as well. Um, so I was going to film what I got her the day I did but I didn't know if she watches my videos or not but by the time she if she even comes across this one she's done got her gift so 
it don't matter. <laughs> but anyways, I told her a while back that I was going to give her my Lange straightening brush because I have a nice straightening curling iron now and I don't really use this one anymore. So I, she, I don't know if she has a good straightener for her hair, but she has pretty curly hair. So I thought maybe she would like to have this thing. It does a, a really good job and you just brush it through your hair. So I've had this thing for years now. Like I don't even know how many years it's been, but it's done me well. So I'm passing it along. And then there was some mascaras that I'm going to throw in there for that right now I'm not using. So I bought the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, which a lot of people like. Um, I just cannot, the telescopic one, I haven't found one that I like better. It just makes my eyelashes longer than this does. This is a real, this is a good mascara, but it just made, it doesn't make my eyelashes long. So I don't know. This is called, I got a Tarte one for her to try out. And then I got a Mally brand of mascara for her to try out. And um, I thought this candle was so cool, but this is from TJ Maxx. This is just like a galaxy tea candle. Smells really good. Um, I thought maybe she would like this for her room. So I got that. It's got some stars and some moons on it. I just thought it was really cool looking. So sports in American Eagle were buy one, get one half off. So I got me a pair and then I got her a pair for her birthday. So I got the, these are the high V rise shorty. I thought these were really cute, especially for a teenager. I would have loved these back in my teen days. I don't like short shorts anymore. I'm just like the older I'm getting, the more modest I am where I don't really like that kind of stuff anymore. But I thought she would probably really like these. So I got her those shorts and then I got a shirt from Hollister for her to go with the shorts. So it just says Velvet Valley, New York on it. And then it has like a drum set. It looked like a good teenager shirt. And I thought it would look good with these light colored shorts. So hopefully she likes the little outfit and everything, but I'm gonna put this stuff together now. paper pull it up from the middle and then you can just do this to make that real pretty effect up top so I think my aunt taught me that because I didn't I used to not know how to do it when I was younger so it just kind of makes it stick out nice but yeah all right I used I just used it all but yeah So we're just going to go through my kitchen now and finally put everything away. I feel like I did talk a little bit during this video, like come on live and talk a little bit. So I might've been rambling a little bit. So I know not, that's not everybody's thing, but let me know if you guys like me coming on, talking a little bit live to y'all while I'm doing stuff, or if you just prefer the voiceover, let me know. Um, I know some people really like the voiceovers and then some people like when I come on and talk to the camera a little bit, cause it just feels more like real time or whatever. Um, but either way, it's totally fine. Whatever you guys like, let, I'd, I'd love to have your feedback on stuff. So definitely don't be shy on leaving comments on my videos. If you want to, you know, leave a comment, I would love to hear from you. I get really excited when people leave comments. Um, I don't really get a lot of them, but whenever I get them, I get really excited. So I appreciate you guys uh, being here and leaving comments and watching the videos. It really means a lot to me. I recently became a partner actually on this channel, which I'm very excited about. Um, I can like, I'm eligible for certain things right now, but I still have just a little bit further to where I can actually get paid monthly. 
like I do on my vlog channel. I get paid over there, but I don't fully get paid here just yet, but I'm so close, you guys. So thank you guys so much for that. Um, it really means a lot. Without you guys watching the videos, I wouldn't be able to earn money from them. So it's, it really helps out my family and I'm super excited to be making my own money and doing what I love to do. I really love making videos, content creating, and just being creative with the videos and trying to come up with new things to clean and stuff. Um, I just feel like cleaning's in my jeans. Um, <laughs> I learned a lot over the years since I used to clean houses and I've just learned so much about it. So I'm really happy to be able to just share some things that I like to do in my home and with other people and just kind of interact with different people here on the internet. So it's really fun and I just, I don't feel like a job to me, but I will tell you guys, if you ever think about doing YouTube, um, which I highly recommend if it's something that you're thinking about doing, definitely give it a try. But it is time consuming and it is something that I think a lot of people don't realize just how much time it takes up to create videos and then to sit down and edit them. So it is definitely a job and I've talked about this before, but there's occasionally you'll get those people that like put you down <laughs> basically for not going out and doing like a nine to five, which don't make any sense to me at all because just because I do something different and I'm able to earn money from it and still provide for my family, you know, doesn't make me any less than anybody else. So it really upsets me, you know, when people like dog people like that about what they do for a living, you know, it's, it's really, first of all, it's really no one's business. And second of all, what does it really matter as long as you're making money for your family? And as long as it's not like illegal, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what is the, the issue with people? They always have something to say. And the way that I see it is it's like, you know what, if you, if you like your nine to five, then I think it's great, you know? And if I like to make YouTube videos, which I'm also very fortunate enough to make them, I will say that because it takes time to grow a channel and most people have to work outside the home. And I used to do that myself. I've been on YouTube for over 10 years and I that's how long I've been consistently making videos. So I also used to work uh, a good nine years outside of the home or so of, you know, however long. And then when I had Cole, I was able to stay home, which I'm very blessed to be able to be a stay at home mom and to be able to stay home and work from home. And I realized that working out in the public was something that I just really did not like. Um, and I think, you know, I'm fortunate enough to be able to stay home and it's a blessing. It really is. And I actually really enjoy it for the most part. Um, there is some days where, you know, I get kind of like, like, what am I going to do now? You know, I have those moments like feeling like I need to do something else, but YouTube really fulfills me in the work ethic because cleaning, even if it's cleaning your own house or going to clean for somebody else, it's hard work. So, um, being a content creator, and even if you're not in the same line of work as somebody else, doesn't mean that it's not stressful or um, doesn't mean that it's not hard in some way. So I just really don't understand when people go to put others down about what they do, you know? Like, I don't get it. It's like, if you're not happy with your job, then find another one, you know? Don't be going to someone else's video and putting them down because of what they're doing and what they're able to, you know? Very blessed and fortunate um, because YouTube allows content creators to have the freedom to do what they want to do in their daily lives. And that is what I love the most about YouTube. And also, like I said, I'm fortunate enough to stay home so I can, I don't have to get up and go to a job, but I used to, but I don't now. I'm very grateful for that. I don't miss it <laughs> at all. I'll be the first to say that I'm very lucky and blessed and I don't miss that. But um, if some people really like to do that, some people like to get up and they like to go to work, it makes them feel good. It makes them feel fulfilled and, you know, in their career. And I think it's great. And some people like to talk to people. They like to go out and interact with other people. Um, I'm really a hermit crab, to be honest with you guys. I'm not really a people person. And that might sound weird because I come on here and do these YouTube videos. And I really look forward to, to talking to you guys on here under my videos. But in real life, I'm a really shy, a really introverted person to where I'm not 
Um, I don't really like meeting a, a large amount of people in real life, like, and like hang, I, I'm just not a sociable, it sounds, that sounds so bad, but I'm being so honest with you guys and real with you guys right now, but that's just how I am as a person. And for the most part, I'm just a homebody and I, uh, really like small groups of friends and family and just like people that I know and hang out with. And then, you know, I never really branch out. Um, um, but I have met a lot of people here on YouTube that I can say that I am friends with and I'm really, really excited to have made people on here to be friends with and to, to just talk to other people. It is really nice and especially the people that leave really nice and sweet comments. Thank you so much. Not everybody is always nice and there are some weirdos on the internet as well. Um, I'm just not going to tolerate that kind of stuff here on my channel. If you know, if people leave like weird comments or things that make me feel uncomfortable, you're going to get blocked. You're going to get deleted. That's pretty much what's going to happen. Now, if somebody wants to leave a comment on something in my house or they want their leave an opinion, then that's one thing. But guys, I'm I definitely now that I'm older, realize that I don't have to tolerate uh, someone being really nasty or anything, which luckily I haven't had anything like that on my channel, but I'm not saying that I won't ever experience that. But I have seen some really nasty comments on other people's channels and it makes me feel really bad because I don't understand what possesses a person to like leave a comment like that on somebody's video. It's like if you don't like what you're watching or if you come across a video and you don't like it, um, just click out of the video, you know, move on. I don't get when people have to sit there and write like a long paragraph comment about why they don't like somebody or why they don't like the video. It's like, first of all, you don't even know this person. You're watching a video that is 30, 20, 30 minutes of their life. You're not seeing the whole picture either. And I think that's another misconception with YouTube is that people think they know everybody when really you don't know anybody <laughs> because what you're seeing on camera isn't the whole thing. And I'm not trying to say everybody comes on camera and is fake because I am definitely not like that. I am 100% my real self. I kind of got off on a tangent here, but thank you guys for listening to that little rant. <laughs> it's just one of those things that, you know, the whole job thing is something that really um, just I don't understand when people start doing that kind of stuff. I don't get it. So I think we all need to support each other and lift each other up and the world would be a better place if we all just, you know, you know, gave each other what we deserve, like the support, the, you know, if, if I want to make a cleaning video, you know, and, and I know there has been there has been comments of me, pe people making fun of me like cleaning, which or making a cleaning video. I have actually gotten those on a couple videos, and I just um, I I know you're not like supposed to engage in like haters or whatever, but it's really hard not to. I'll be the first to say that it's really hard not to want to say something back. Um, but for the most part, I just ignore it. Um, but I don't get a whole lot, but I have gotten a few that have made fun of me, like cleaning. And I'm just like, really? Like, you know, <laughs> people do worse things and more things to be made fun of than like things that we do on a daily. I really like seeing what people do in their real life and cleaning is a part of my life. It's part of what I do and it's part of what we all have to do and if you don't find that interesting, then that's fine. You don't have to watch it. I don't understand why, you know, people got to be rude and stuff. But me and my husband are finishing up this table. I forgot to get a overview for you guys. So I apologize for that. But thank you guys so much for watching the video today and being here uh, to listen to me ramble on forever. But I appreciate every single one of you guys. And if you're interested in subscribing, would love to have you. And I will see you guys in Thursday's video. And I can't wait to see you guys then. Bye, guys. Look at the beautiful stars. I want to drive a faster car. Lay my troubles to rest. Blow the smoke through my cigarette City lights looking fine And I know this is my time now I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive It's just what I do
when I'm out so Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me No, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna take a trip to Mars Nothing can break me No, no, nothing can break me Drive a faster car. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes Try 